And there we see the baffle a little bit more. And there the pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom. And what I'm seeing so far is really not terrible. That's this can be definitely cleaned up and sorted. It's uh, not terribly terribly rusty. <laughs> Welcome back to Logmafa Classic and if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and consider subscribing. I put new videos every week on some Jaguar and classic car related content. In today's video, I thought we'd do something a little different. Uh, a month or so ago, I bought this cheap little endoscope camera just to film inside the sill while rust proofing. I thought it'd be really cool to have a look inside, see if there was any rust and also see how the wax I used just spread everywhere around the sill. You guys seem to really enjoy that and I said that let me know if you want me to have a look at more things inside with this thing. Because it was so cheap, I thought I could stick it into something like a gas tank. Because if it breaks, it doesn't really matter. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to have a look inside the gas tank of my XJ6, the right hand one I've never used. Just see if it's really rusty inside, if it maybe can be saved. Uh, maybe it can be saved with a tank sealer or something. Or maybe it can be sent away and patched. Or just see how it looks inside. If that goes well, I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be to film inside, but if that goes well, we're going to have a look inside a couple other cars as well, like the XJ12, and then at the end of the surprise, a really bad gas tank. This is a right-hand tank off my 1975 XJ6. Since I've had the car, I've never used the tank. The previous owner told me that it leaks. Uh, he was away on a long trip. He noticed it was leaking. They tried to use up as much fuel as possible from the tank, and once it was... Uh, pretty close to empty they switched over to the other tank and they haven't used it since and in a previous video where I disconnected this tank I noticed that it was completely bone dry there was no fuel in there at all so I think if there is a leak it's probably really far down in the tank because uh, there's no way you can pump a tank that empty from the pump because it doesn't pick up all the way in the bottom it picks up a little bit off the bottom and then it has a screen or like a little filter on it so what I want to do is I just want to take this small little endoscope camera, it's a very very cheap one that I used in some previous videos just to have a look inside the tank uh, from here. I might not be able to see all the way down because I think there are baffles and stuff inside. But we'll get a pretty good idea I think of the condition of the tank. Also kind of cool to see what it looks like from up top down below. And um, if we find out that it looks pretty nice then in the future I'll just order the new gaskets for uh, both the plug and the bottom and the one for the sender unit will open up in there and have a better look inside. But this is just a preliminary look inside this one. So I have a screwdriver here, let's open it up and let's stick it in. Okay, so um, there's a little bit of surface rust right there, but that's pretty normal. This is right up top where you fill it. One thing I have noticed is that if you can see that pipe there, that is usually a fuel return pipe. We'll see one on the XJ12 later. It makes me think that this tank has been replaced because you don't have those pipes usually on the six cylinder cars with carburetors. If we continue down there. So this is quite, quite difficult. You can see there is some surface rust, but really not that bad at all. And there we see the baffle a little bit more. And there the pipe that goes all the way down to the bottom. and. What I'm seeing so far is really not terrible. That's, this can be definitely cleaned up and sorted. It's uh, not terribly, terribly rusted. I mean, if a tank sits empty for a while, which this one has for a couple of years, this is pretty much normal surface rust, I think. I want to see if I can move it to get it into that baffle hole, but might not be possible. Just, but let me try for a second here. And I'm looking through that baffle hole now, and what we're seeing there is the tank sender unit which, I mean, it has some oxidation on it, but it really doesn't look that bad at all. It's not completely covered in the rust. I think if this tank was completely rotted out, it would probably look worse than this. I don't think I can get any deeper inside the tank, but let me try. I am a little, little bit deeper into the tank here. We have part of the sender unit here, but I really don't have a bright light enough on this little camera to be able to see any further down. So let's move over to another tank. And here we are inside the other side tank, the left hand side, same car. And you see it's already looking a lot cleaner in here. This tank is pretty much in good condition as far as I know. 
And we actually see one of those pipes in here as well. It's cut off really far down. So maybe those pipes are in all the cars and they're just cut off up top when they're not used as returns. Could be an interesting thing to be able to maybe look up. There's that same baffle. I'm gonna try again to see if I can get into that hole. And here we are in that hole. There's that sender unit. Definitely, definitely looking in better condition, of course, than this tank. And you see the float there. And I think you can pretty much actually see the gas down there. This thing has a quarter tank of gas in it. So down there somewhere is the gasoline levels. I'm not going to go any further down than that. As you can see, we've switched cars and locations. This is my 1977 XJ12. And about a month or so ago, I sort of woke this thing up again. I gave it a service. We actually had a look inside fuel filters. Very nice and clean inside the old fuel filter, even though it'd been on there for about five years. No rust debris or anything. Uh, so my plan was just, you know, go for a drive, fill up with gas, and hopefully get inspected. However, as soon as I put some gas from a uh, jerry can into this side, I noticed a fuel leak down below, and we traced that in a later video to it being one of the fuel lines just being completely perished. So I've gotten all new lines, I'm going to replace all that, but I thought that while I'm at it, let's have a look inside the tank and just see if it looks really, really rusty, then I might try and source new tanks or do a tank sealer while I'm at it. So, um, same as before, and let's have a look in here. And there you can see that pipe I was talking about, and here it's not really cut off, it's much further up, so you can see when you look inside the tank, the fuel returning. Some extremely light surface rust in there, but nothing bad at all. Let's see here. And yeah, I mean, I'm seeing some light surface rust. Whenever I've emptied out these tanks and taken out the big plug, I've never seen any rust chunks or anything in the bottom. And the fuel filters are always nice and clean, so it seems like this amount of. Um, Surface rust does not seem to be that harmful, really. Once again, let me see if I can get into that hole. I'm not all the way in the hole, but you can see the fuel center there. And I can actually pretty much see the bottom of the tank there. I can see a shiny reflection. It was, of course, completely empty. So, uh, yeah, I don't think this tank looks that bad inside at all. It also makes me think that the other tank on the right side of the XJ6 is really not that bad either, because this amount of surface rust I've run this tank for years and never had any issues with stuff in the fuel filter or anything like that. So uh, I think that's not really an issue at all. And of course this could be cleaned out, but I don't think it's not bad at all. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. And now we're gonna go and have a look at a tank that I think is terrible. And here we are, another car again, the 1966 S-Type, which has been off the road since the early or mid 70s. However, it has run in the meantime. I know it has been started, but I don't think it's been started on the fuel in these tanks. I think it's just been started from, you know, a separate fuel source because if I open up here, I wish you guys could smell this. I mean, it's it's a waft of old fuel. I'm going to drain these out pretty soon when I move into a new location, but yeah, it just it smells like turpentine. It is pretty bad, but it's for fun, let's have a look inside. And we can actually see some fuel down there in the bottom. So that is definitely really, really old. And it's a different type of tank. It's kind of hard to see stuff, but it's definitely not looking that great. If I can focus on that. See all that rust? So this is a rusty fuel tank. And I think this is a really good example of what a terrible gas tank looks inside. Just have a look at all that rust. It's like the Titanic in here. But it will actually be fun when I take this thing out and take the sender unit out and have a look inside and maybe this thing can be saved. I have no idea because I know that the tanks for these, the S-types, are really pricey. Um, the tank on the other side at least has a cap and it looks a lot cleaner on the inside so I'm not going to have a look inside that one but yeah I'm not sure if this can be saved but you never know. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that even though maybe it wasn't the steadiest filming. It was really really difficult to try and hold this thing steady when it was 
maybe this far or so down into a tank, but I really tried my best and I hope that no one really got that motion sick. Uh, anyways, I think we learned a lot. We learned that I think it's um, it's a good idea to see if I can do something about the tank on the XJ6. And I want to know if you guys have used any tank sealer, specifically the POR15 tank sealer. I've never used them before. We never had a bad gas tank. I've replaced it with a good use one. Uh, but I can't really get a hold of a good use one right hand one at the moment. I, all my friends who have uh, her braking jags and who have used parts only have left tanks. So uh, that's no use really. Uh, so I thought maybe if you guys could let me know if you have used any tank sealers and if you had a good experience with them. Uh, because if they work really well, they're not that expensive, then maybe I could save that tank. And then maybe while I'm at it, I'll just seal both the tanks in the XJ12 as well. Because that's a car I'm keeping forever and if that makes those tanks last basically forever then that's a good thing as well but let me know if you have any experience with it in the comments down below anyways if you like this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do subscribe to the channel it really does help out a lot and put in the comments down below if you have any new ideas of what i can use this thing for any other things you want to have a look inside the sort of um uh cheap camera that we can sacrifice let me know in the comments down below Anyways, until next time, I'm Adam, and this was a little bit of a classic. I'll see you soon.